Okay, you ready, fam? <laughs> okay, I don't me. know if you're ready for this one, nah, bro. Tell me, I'm actually excited. Okay, <clears throat> uh, let me know. How should I? How should I pull this in? Because this is like this is some real shit, bro. This what is, is some it, real shit? Fam. I, th I thought the first thing you were gonna tell me was Shang Chi. Nah, yeah, yo, Shang Chi theory. Nah, fam. What is it? So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Let me know. Okay, ready? Okay, go. All right, yo. So I told you this already. I don't know if you remember. Drake <laughs> mentioned or he referenced <laughs> our theory. On CLB fam. How? Let me know. You don't remember? No. Bro. Okay, so listen. So remember way back, I did the episode with Charon. We talked about how Drake is using Michael Jackson's old music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he took, he bought all of Michael Jackson's unreleased tracks. And then he's using melodies from that for his own music, right? Yeah, yeah. So take this in. We said that way back in fucking February mm -hmm. of last year, yeah. right? CLB drops. Right? On the track in uh -huh. CLB, You Only Live Twice, Word. Drake said the line, I don't know if you know, but I'm actually Michael Jackson. The man in the mirror is actually making platinum. What? Yeah. No, that was a lyric? He said that. He said that. So I'm actually Michael Jackson. He said that what? exact line. Fam. What? Yo, so take this in. I told this to my cousin, right? Yeah. And I thought I was just tripping like, mm -hmm. nah, because yo, low key. That, what else is he referring to then? Yeah. He's referencing our theory, fam. Oh. He's referencing our theory. Yeah, like he got exposed and then he's like, might as well come out. Yeah. <laughs> no, because th that's the thing, right? Because look, look, look. He, he's he's very, very aware of like Toronto yeah. media. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, he knows what's going on with Debbie. Yeah. He knows what's going on with Six Buzz and fam, shit. K Showtime. K Showtime. He, he co signed K Showtime. Yeah. You feel me? So it, it wouldn't. <laughs> Damn. I think all of our TikTok clips mentioning Drake combined, he's, we have like over 30 million views. Yeah. Facts. So 100% somebody from OVO team seen our shit. Yeah, I know. The, the Drake and Kanye one, I think on our shorts channel is like 15 mil. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So low key, he referenced the theory I said, Let's bro. Go. <laughs> You hey, made on CLV fam. Nah, Loki, I'm cheese because that wasn't my episode. <laughs> that was Charon's oh, yeah, it was episode. Charon, it was Charon. Yeah. But what's joke is Charon's the biggest Drake fan. Yeah. Though. Charon's the biggest Drake fan. And we were scared at one point because we're like, yo, Loki, should we even be saying yeah. this? <laughs> Bro, before I think before that theory came out, we had a whole combo at night. We're like, yo, I don't think we can release this. Yeah. Or Drake's goons are gonna <laughs> clash up to That's us. That's what you're saying, right? But like Obviously, this is all just for fun, just yeah, for yeah. jokes and shit. We're not saying any of that shit is yeah. true. Like, who knows, you know? Only Drake knows. So, yeah. Drake, yo, let us know, fam. I know, fam. Bring us to the crib one let time, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're, we're, we needed a, uh, for the CLB listening party. Why were we there, fam? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let us know. Only Drake knows the truth. So, yeah, we'll know. find out. Okay, yo. So, what do you think? CLB or Donda? Man, Loki, I've, I've been rock. You know I rock with Donda. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here, yo. Because when CLB first dropped, mm -hmm. I'm like, right away, I'm yeah. like, okay, CLB's better. Yeah. Right away. But fam, I don't know what it is. Like, the next three days, mm -hmm. I went back to Donda again. I don't yeah. know. No, because I think artistically, well, I think Luke said it the best. Artistically, Donda yeah. was way better than CLB. Because mm -hmm. CLB, I knew CLB was going to sound like, like it's a great album. Because they're both fire. Yeah, they're, they're both fire. fire. Drake, they, CLB is fucking fire. Yeah, but it's, it's like the same, right? Yeah. But I'm saying that like Kanye did this gospel stuff. Mm -hmm. Never seen before. Yeah. My mom likes the album. That's Boom. the thing. That's me? the thing, right? So I'm like, I'm like, yo, if my, my parents like the album, mm -hmm. then that's already a W for Kanye. Yeah. You know me? Because it feels almost as if it already got played. Yeah. It, like, I heard these tracks before. The snippets, it's weird. The it's snippets, weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think because, yeah, because the leaks or exactly. whatever it may be. Yeah. Well, fam, so do you remember when um when Kanye sent the mass text to that group chat? And Which he one? added, like, Drake. He added, like, all these people in the group chat. Oh, he did that? Yeah, yeah. He, he sent, he, it was a big post on it, fam. It was yeah? on Complex, too. Like, oh, shoot. Kanye had a group chat and mm. he said, I've been bullied by all you lame ass jocks. Oh, I seen that. Yep. Yeah. I seen that. My whole life, right? Mm -hmm. And he said, you guys will never recover. Yeah. So take this in, bro. So I have a theory. Oh, shit. That the reason that Donda has such an impact on us, yeah. or the reason we're feeling about that the album release. Because yeah. look, look, Drake's album came out mm -hmm. and it felt old after like a couple days. Yeah. Which is weird to me because- I'm not going to lie, yeah. Like at heart, we're, we're, we're true Drake. Drake. You know what I mean? We're so, Drake fans at heart, fam. Like nice. anything Drake drops, we're, we, have we to, love that. We have to support. Exactly. But it's so weird that- the album, it didn't hit the same. I don't know why. Yeah. So this is my theory. 
is Kanye, mm-hmm. he might have used binaural beats. You know what those are? No. What are those? So binaural beats are actually these, it's it's these frequencies you can use in music yeah. to where it can influence you to like certain things. Oh, okay. You heard about this before, yeah, right? Yeah. You heard about this before. Yeah. Where And you see it all the time where, shit, you're going to get a taste of it and yeah. then you're going to get a thirst for it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And you want it more. And you want it more. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what Kanye does already, yeah. even in past projects, where he tries to change the market and then make everybody's influence towards his his content. Yeah. You know what I mean? So maybe the reason he said, you guys will never recover, because uh-huh. look at that choice of word. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You guys will never recover. You guys will never recover. That's a very that's interesting- fighting words, man. That's a really interesting yeah. like word choice, feel I me? Know. So what if you use those type of binaural beats to change our taste, mm-hmm. and then from now on, we're gonna be wanting a similar sound or oh, a different sound. sound. You know how that just combated um Drake? Because Drake has the Michael Jackson flows. Yeah. So Kanye is like, no, we do that shit now binaural beats oh it's yo. like now I, i'm gonna switch that so you don't like that shit no more yo that's so true yeah it's like you have the money for that but i have the money for this that's what i'm saying yeah because oh. fucking because that's the thing anything michael jackson made yeah it's a banger, it's a banger. yeah it's a banger and drake anything drake drops mm-hmm. he doesn't fucking miss that yeah. shit's a banger every single time Fact. right so i think the only way you can beat him mm-hmm. is to play with the mind <laughs> yeah and then maybe that's what kanye did i know but I, I felt like like Donda was more relatable. I feel like I know not relatable, but he put more time and effort into it. You like, think so? Like the rollout because it was for his mom. Yeah, you're right. You're so, right. Like it had to be special. Mm-hmm. But then I saw Drake, so it's just like sim toxic music. Yo, it is fam. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, like I knew it was gonna be a, like from the album cover. Yeah, I already knew. I already knew it was gonna be like <laughs> some so. toxic shit. That that's, that's Drake. Yeah, the whole project CLB fam. Yeah, it had the best freaking Instagram captions, but it's the most toxic shit. Yeah, I know. Like Loki is some toxic. And mo- yeah, and I hate the how men's are saying like, yo, just like Drake's about to sell 700k in one week. Mm. That means it's better. No, that doesn't mean it's better. Do you believe that? So that's the thing, right? That's the thing. Yeah. If you're looking at numbers, if you're looking at that sales, yeah, that type of aspect, then yeah, then Drake, Drake, hundred yeah, percent, bro. He's making music for the masses. Exactly. You he has that on lock. He's king. Yeah. You know what I mean, but what what Kanye did, mm-hmm. he literally took a different type of food and said, "Here, try it." Yeah. You know what I mean, and it was still successful. And it was still successful. So that's that what's means, crazy. That's damn, what's crazy. The body of art that Kanye just made, mm-hmm. I think, is gonna be a classic. That's definitely a classic album. Low key. Yeah. Because because. Right when I heard it, it it made me feel like it's all movie tracks. Yeah. You get what I mean though? It's yeah. like it's all it's all tracks that you could have used in a movie. What's the uh he's done miracles? Yeah. Oh, fam. All that shit could be in like a freaking cinematic scene, yeah, fam. Man. Yeah. But you can't say that for um we, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's too, too sexy, sexy for, you know? But it's fire. Yeah. That shit is fire, but it's not the same, right? Yeah. But at the same time. We're not gonna be bumping fucking Kanye in the club. Yeah, we're not drop. We're not bumping Kanye in the club like that. <laughs> can you, know? you? Can you? You can do off the grid out in the club, but that's it. That's mostly it. Nah, that's it. We're not yeah. bumping Kanye in the club like that. But but can, uh, what from Drake can you can you bump? I mean, TSU, almost the whole shit, bro. Word. Yeah. No, I swear that's like bedroom music. That's like on your ones, your sad music. Nah. Word. Maybe I have to listen to it again. Nah, cause he had those. He had those club. But he even had that track. It's like a little bit more. Um, it sounded kind of like a uh, controller or one dance. What? Yeah, Which you know what I'm talking one? about? The one with um <laughs> fuck, I forgot the name of the song. But yeah, yeah there's there's a track on there that, mm-hmm. that sounds kind of like that, like a little bit Caribbean flow too. Word, I didn't know that one. Bro, I'm telling you, because that's why Drake's so good. Yeah. Cause he has a grasp of exactly what we want. Mm-hmm. He knows exactly what we yeah, want. Fact. But that's the thing, right? Like, let's say, let's say you have a grasp of what everybody wants, and you're selling it, and you're selling, it and it's so good. Yeah. How do you decipher on when to change? I feel like if that sells, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep putting it on. Mm. I think that's why Drake hasn't released any like gospel shit yet. When? Because Drake hasn't really changed. Actually, no. Drake does changes his sound though. He does, but I mean, he can adapt to to music. But like, if that's what's popping at the time, like if UK drill, I feel like oh, he could make a UK drill track. Yeah, because he's you so know? versatile. Yeah, that's the exactly. thing. He's so versatile where he has his voice, fam. Mm-hmm. It can work on any type of genre. Yeah. Right? But that's the thing is where how do you how do you know when to switch it? Yeah. Because we all love it already. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think I think CLB was a perfect time because in this generation of love, mm-hmm. it's so toxic. 
right? Yeah. And if he wants to get the teenagers on his side, that's the best album he could have dropped. Where? You feel me? Because right now, us teens, we're the future. Yeah, right? so, that's true. So we're rocking with him all the time now because he relates to us. We're toxic, you feel me? Yeah. You know? That, damn, that's so true. So that's how he adapted, I, I feel like. Mm. But I'm still a certified Donda boy, you feel me? <laughs> certified Donda <Wow>. boy. Because, <laughs> yo, Donda, because, yeah, like you were saying, Donda is kind of like that that indoor music too. Yeah. So what if, what if Kanye knows something we don't? Yeah. And he knows that we're going to be inside for the rest of the fucking mm-hmm. year. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would have been the craziest thing? Yeah. Um, if, if they had this beef and then they didn't drop any of the albums, they just w- one track, Drake featuring Kanye or f- Kanye featuring Drake. Oh, that would have been the craziest plot twist. That would have been crazy. But I don't think, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. I think they're really beefing, right? Yeah, facts. They're this really guy, beefing. Yeah, Kanye leaked that, like the address. <laughs> yeah, yo. <laughs> but that's like a, that's like some, that's, what do you call this? Um, If you're a foreigner, you go to Drake's house to see it. You yeah, no, that's <laughs> fact. Dead ass. Drake's house is literally like a Toronto landmark. <laughs> it's a landmark. <laughs> that ass. Like it's like seeing the CN Tower, fam. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody knows where Drake lives. I know. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why Kanye yeah. did that shit, bro. That's the thing, because if you really want to get to somebody and really want to diss them, yeah. fam, do your research first. How are you yeah. gonna do that shit? But I the intention was there. Like if you drop a person's house, if yeah, you ever yeah. drop my address, fam, like we're actually scrapping. <laughs> I actually might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, cause cause in, in other circumstances, that's yeah. a big deal. Yeah. That's a big deal that's in your other family, circumstances. Like your family is there too. Too, not just you mm-hmm. so they're in danger too do you think do you think that we're gonna s- nah i don't want to say that but like because because in a lot of the drake songs mm-hmm. i think he mentioned like kanye put a hit on him word he said that somewhere. i wouldn't be surprised i wouldn't be surprised yeah i wouldn't be surprised either bro because yeah. both of them they're both very powerful yeah i mean they have access to these things it's not like yeah. that's not new to them i'm actually she's i'm actually wondering like if any of drake's partners seen our shit like i'm actually like because no one's reached out to us from ovo like, you feel me? No one sent any care packages like, yo, you guys are sick. <laughs> like, I'm actually still like- No, because look, look, he made, maybe we said some shit they didn't like. Yeah, man. man. Fuck, but man. that's the thing, because look, look, look. I'm never, I'm never one. I, I, I'll look at it both ways. Yeah. I'm not going to fucking, just because I'm Toronto, I'm going to dick ride. Mm-hmm. Nah, that's not it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm here to like be the voice. Yeah. Of have an youth, opinion. Have, have an a good opinion. opinion. Yeah. And still be listen like be able to listen to both sides, right? right? And that's really like that's what we need is the fucking the middle ground where we can talk about those things yeah. and not no, I can't listen to you. I can't yeah, listen, yeah. you know what I mean? Because if you had two Drake lovers here, it wouldn't be like Yeah, exactly. Like we, you gotta yeah. hear both sides. Exactly. But yeah, no, because I was just gonna say there was like um the theory, you know the the Donda. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there was two theories that got debunked, right? Mm-hmm. So one was like it said it 58 times, because that's when Donda, like his mom, yeah. died. Right, but that one was debunked because it's they Donda was said sixty times. Word, right? Yeah, yeah. And there was another one. Have you heard that Donda, the Donda Chen was like a heartbeat of his mom? Oh yeah, I heard yeah. that. That's so, crazy. And then like it got faster, faster, and then it died down. Yeah. And, and then at the Connie show, there was a dove. Damn. But that one was like broken too. Like like that's debunked. That's not true. No, it's not true. Damn, that would have been deep as fuck. Yeah. The though. real meaning of the Donda Chen was it's supposed to. It's like a meditation. Like it's supposed mm. to. You're so, like a chant that you say over and over again. That you're like. Oh, Serenity, Word. right? It was Selena Johansson, right? That mm. that uh, chanted it, right? Yeah. And how the song came about, with, she said it in different tones. That's how I was like, Donda, Donda, Donda. Right? Word, yeah. And then like, <laughs> Kanye, they were trying to see which one sounded the best, but Kanye just threw it into that, like, all together. Oh. And that's how it came about. I really thought it was that heartbeat thing. Same, same. I really thought it was that heartbeat. Yeah, that thing would have been deep as yeah. fuck, though. But I think that's low-key, like, disrespectful you think so yeah that people came up with that theory about the heartbeat because like yeah because it has to be from kanye himself yeah from kanye himself he had had to be the one that said it exactly you can't say like that's the mom's heartbeat when she died like that's kind of i know yeah (laughs) but yo that's why people that's why a lot of people are saying like shit what if Kanye's freaking hypnotizing all of them, fam? Yeah. Going I back know. to my theory, bro. What is freaking hypnotizing all of them so that they change the way of music in their head? Maybe, maybe that they change your taste. Yeah, because the Donda Chant was the first, so it's it's meant for you to get in like a relaxed state. Yeah. And then the binaural beats, ba, boom, oh, oh, oh. yo, yo, <laughs> to let down your guard, and then they hit you. Cause fam, like. Dead ass. I always. I've been looking a lot into this, right? Yeah. I've been looking a lot into hypnotism, okay. and that shit is real. Yeah. Hypnotism is real. So, if hypnotism is real, mm-hmm. they're definitely using it in some way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if we don't notice, mm-hmm. they're using that shit. I know, so what if they're I using know. that shit in music, bro? It's, Come it's on, scary. man. It's actually scary, fam. Right? right? Like the t- like the tarot card readings too. It's yeah. scary because I don't know if that's hypnotism. Like for like if a person tells me like, oh, you're gonna have good luck. Maybe that's hypnotism for me to believe that's true. Mm-hmm. Is it? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe because because it is going back to like placebos, yeah, going exactly. into like those mind games. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
it all is with the subconscious, yeah. right? It all has to do with the subconscious. And the subconscious is so powerful to where it can change your body chemistry. It can change your way of life. Okay. Just through things that you've learned, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So that's like, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be too crazy to think they put stuff in the songs yeah. or they put stuff just even in the background of the songs mm -hmm. to kind of influence us to go into a certain direction. It's crazy. Yeah. Cause maybe that's why, that's why life is what it is right now mm -hmm, yeah. because of the music we, we've listened to. Mm -hmm. Cause looking, you know, like the Rockefellers yeah, and all bro. like the Illuminati and shit, mm -hmm. let's say they had an agenda and they wanted us to live a certain lifestyle, mm -hmm. maybe and with materialism, keep buying stuff, keep buying stuff, keep yeah. buying stuff. So the economy keeps going. Mm -hmm. What if that's the shit they're hypnotizing on? So you think Donda is like the new generation of music? Like that's, it's going to be that now? He, I think he changed it. Because listen, listen, right? Well, has he been preaching? He has been preaching like Jesus, yeah. God, spiritualism, right? Mm -hmm. And that... Have you seen that before? No, I haven't. No, we haven't exactly, seen that before. Exactly. That's a completely new, different sound. That's why I said, that's why Don, that fact alone, I put Don in front of CLB. Because mm. you know? it's something, it's something that, it's almost as if he's saying, fuck all that shit before. Yeah. This is, this is going to be the new age. Mm -hmm. Yo. <laughs> and what if it is, bro? What if it is? Because yeah. shit, he has a lot of power and he has a lot of influence to change music maybe this was just one of his agendas to run for president maybe oh. that now he's convincing us yo <laughs> yo what the fuck no loki i think he might run for president and he might get it just because of just because of that yeah nah that's crazy bro because we are the future fam and <laughs> no that's crazy yeah because because all of the all of the young kanye fans like we're age of voting yeah you know I me? Know, yeah because look at um jagmeet singh for toronto uh -huh. i mean for canada yeah he on he's TikTok. smart he's marketing on tiktok yeah. trying to get his face out there I see so that. the younger generation remembers him mm -hmm. so when it comes time for them to vote even though we have no clue of what's going on we'll pick it's him. a recognizable face we'll pick you know him. i mean yeah so yo that's a really good theory is I know. kanye's doing all this shit so you remember him when it's time to vote, bro. Oh my God. We actually, if we predict that, nah, I need a million followers. <laughs> I need a fucking million followers. Yo, and freaking, um, cause remember the theory I said before about yeah. the, the K West and the David Bowie shit? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yo, you're right. he's running for president. <laughs> Oh, you're right. Yo, it all ties up, fam. Oh, nah. We just predicted the whole thing. It all China. ties up, bro. <laughs> nah, Drake just got to run for prime minister now. Like, <laughs> a lie? That's all, that's that, all he needs. That's the only way. That's the only way. Facts. Oh, my God. Yo, but um, Manny Pacquiao. What happened? He's, he's running for president. I swear the Philippines. Oh, I swear he already got it. Wait, what? No, he didn't. I, I, I thought no, he was he's a president. senator. He's a senator. Chill, oh, okay, okay. relax, relax. He's a senator. Nah, dude, <laughs> Duterte, that's that's the president right now, right? Yeah, yeah, that, uh, yeah. People love that guy though. Yeah, he's the president. He's the yeah. president. But um, man, back was running for presidency. Okay. What do you think? Do you think he's gonna win? Loki, yeah, because we all grew up. Oh no, Loki, because yeah, because the kids in the Philippines all grew up looking look, looking up to Manny. Everybody Manny's. looked up to Manny, yeah. bro. He's literally the hero of the Philippines. Yeah, but that doesn't make any sense because like. Does he know anything about like government I'm, stuff though? I like, mean, he's done a lot for the Philippines yeah, though. Yeah. Like um charity wise, building yeah. schools, mm -hmm. everything. He's I think he put over thirty million dollars into the Philippines yeah. already. But now the president run thing is just like high school. It's like a popularity contest. You think? Yeah, because fam, if Kanye is allowed to if Kanye's like that cool kid in high school, yeah, yeah. we're gonna vote for him for nah, that's so true. That's so true, me? right? But like he doesn't know what the fuck's going on, but we're still gonna vote for him because yeah. he's cool. No, that's facts. But here's the thing, right? Because yeah. wh where does it differentiate from high school to real life? It we're still the same people, you know what I mean? Low what key. Mean? Look, from look, look. It's still a popularity contest at the end of the day. It still is, honestly. Yeah. Just depends on how you present it. It's just presented in a more formal way. Formal way. Get what I mean? Like realistically, bro, it's the same shit. What do you mean though? Like I'm trying to I'm trying to Look, look, look. An election, right? An yeah, election. Okay. Well, is that not a popularity contest? It is. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. It still is. Yeah. At the end of the day, they're just playing with with other tactics mm -hmm. that we haven't seen before. Yeah. No, but I just don't want it to get to the fact where it's like, oh, Uzi can run for president because he's so popular, right? No, but he's got to have that. He still has to have a vision. You know what I mean? At I least know, Kanye's exactly. a visionary. Yeah. Right? At least. <laughs> Might not be a good thing. <laughs> Who oh, knows, fuck. bro? Who knows, fam? <laughs> oh, fuck, fam. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but what's dope, um, Manny Pacquiao, because mm -hmm. yo, Manny Pacquiao came from the dust, bro. Yeah, he actually did. He you came, seen this documentary? Yeah. <sighs> He literally came from the dirt, yeah, bro. Like the literal just, dirt. I cried, man. Like yeah. the whole movie. Because if, if you think about that whole story, 
and then it builds up yeah. to him becoming the president of the Philippines. That's like you know how freaking powerful that message is to everybody in the world. I know, right? I think just because of that message alone, mm -hmm. really makes me want him to win. You know what I mean? And would make the nation of the Philippines want him to win too. Facts, but it it also depends on like how good of a president he would be too. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, and as a Filipino, you feel proud of that shit. Yeah, like did, did, in the documentary, did you see like before his fight or after he won his? championship i think like his friend died i think there was oh, like his best friend died i think i didn't know that yeah if i if i got that correct but that that oh my god fam like mm -hmm. imagine being so up and then you're back down to the ground zero yeah and then you have to continue mm -hmm. you feel me? but it, it's just such a it's such a good story because like i'm not saying anybody else's story isn't as great yeah but just his story coming from nothing and then becoming that mm -hmm. is so powerful it's just so inspirational and i feel like in this time like we kind of need that you know what i mean everybody needs that shit yo you know what that reminds me of man what have you ever watched slumdog millionaire no i haven't why yo that's the movie it's it's similar to that story where he's from the slums and he makes his way up and through all of his experiences he's learned, yeah. he finds a way to win. Who wants to be a millionaire? What? Yeah. Fam, where can I watch this though? Yo, so I watch it on Netflix, yeah. but I can't access it with the Canadian Netflix. I actually okay. use NordVPN to what? change my country. So I change it to the Argentinian Netflix yeah. and I can access oh, Slumdog Millionaire. You can watch it now? Yeah. No, okay, man. As soon as I get home, switch to the Argentinian one. Yeah, bro, just use NordVPN, fam. But yeah, fam, the, the VPN I have right now slow as hell fam yeah it's not working for you huh it's not that's why nordvpn is the best bro nordvpn is the fastest vpn in the world where dead ass okay you put me on yeah bro since nordvpn is so fast you don't yeah. have to sacrifice your internet speed for better security okay so your internet traffic is routed through a secure encrypted tunnel which protects your data and privacy oh word so i can use it outside like in public yeah so anytime you're using public wi-fi yeah. or you're out traveling mm -hmm. you can use nordvpn to protect yourself yeah. so my other vpn it only connects to one device is it like multiple so nordvpn allows you to connect with six devices oh shit six perfect right my whole family is about That's to be what on I'm nordvpn saying. go to nordvpn.com and use the code jumpers to get a two-year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount so that's nordvpn slash jumpers or use code jumpers to get a two-year plan with a bonus gift and a huge discount and the link will be down in the description below make sure to click it autumn is in the air pumpkins are in the patch and our friends at manscaped are here to make sure you don't carve your pants pumpkins when you're grooming yo cuffing season's among us bro you ready now they have manscaped the new manscaped stuff I'm blessed. Damn, you gotta make sure you're keeping things fresh this fall with the leaders in male grooming and their fourth new generation package. The fourth generation? Okay. Yes, sir. We're set, I'm set for cuffing season, fam. So boys, get ready for a cuffing season like no other, ready to take the leap into fall with Manscaped. Join the 2 million men worldwide using Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off, plus free shipping with the code JUMPERS. So this fall, if you buy the whole performance bundle, you can get the Lawnmower 4.0, you can get the Weed Whacker for your nose, you can get the Crop Reviver, and the crop preserver all in one bundle. Yeah, bro. I've been using the lawnmower 4.0 all summer, bro. And it's oh, yeah. been it's been working great. Yeah. It's actually been working great. Like I haven't got any nicks. Mm -hmm. I've been getting nice and clean, nice okay. and fresh. It's durable though, right? It's mad durable, bro. Yeah. So take this in. What? It's got a 9,000 RPM motor found. Dog, this is like the Lamborghini of ball shaving technology found. <laughs> Facts, bro. Listen to that. <laughs> So yeah, bro, no nicks, no tugs, no nothing. Yep. Like this got me and I didn't have any problems with it. Fam, that's my main concern from all the other razors I use. Yeah. Nicks everywhere. Mm. This one, no nicks. This one's nicks. perfect, You're blessed bro. for the This fall. one's the one. So you also get the Crop Reviver, like I said before, and this gives your balls a boost of energy whenever you need it. And you also get the Crop Preserver, which keeps, it's like the deodorant for your balls and it keeps everything mad fresh. So yeah, remember you get 20% off plus free shipping with code JUMPERS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping using code JUMPERS. The link will be down in the description below. Make sure to click it. Everybody needs to be inspired by something like that. And especially yeah. for Filipinos, bro. Like, who do we have, fam? I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, not, I, I hate, like, boasting us and shit, but, like, I don't know any other Filipino I look up to except for you. Or chill. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, cause I, I'm not going to say me, because I was like, you're my partner, so, and you're doing big things, so I'm like, okay. That that's the guy, that's the guy right there. Damn, respect, right respect, respect, respect. Right now, respect. Have you seen you at the ball tournament? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out everybody I saw. I saw the the Mubuhai Cup, bro. <laughs> that's our demographic. Shout out the yeah, Filipinos. shout out everybody there. You know, we 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 make we poke fun at Filipinos a lot, but we fuck no, with like it, we, we poke fun because it's fun, yeah, but like it's fun. It, it's because that's family. Yeah, that's, that's family. family you know? We can do that. Yeah, that's family. family. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fam, it's nice. Mm. But yeah, bro, I really. 
You know what I really want to do? We got to do the fucking meet and greets now. I know. Now that... Okay, yeah. Like, I've been saying, like, COVID's over, but it's not over. But, like... A cool little meet up with like five, I don't know, like a hundred people max. Oh yeah, I know you're still right though, because it's still it's still like it's still like iffy. If if we mention like a meet and greet in Toronto, mm-hmm. how many people you you would think would come? It depends though. Yeah, because dep- me and my I don't think Toronto likes us that much. I don't know. It depends. It yeah. depends. Because low key, yeah, I know what you mean like yeah. Toronto as a whole. Because Canada's only six. Per- we were looking at like our, our demographics yeah, and shit. Sixty. It's sixty percent U.S., nine percent Philippines. Philippines then, and then six percent Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like everything else, like Australia, Fact. UK, whatever. Fact. So it's kind of crazy, right? Mm-hmm. It's kind of crazy that shit. We kind of we we get recognized here and there yeah. in Canada. Mm-hmm. So imagine if we go to the states. That's what I'm saying. That's imagine we go to the Philippines. I feel like Philippines would be crazier than states and Canada. Really? But does Philippines have a higher population though? Mm. I think it does. I think does it? Does. I think yeah. so. But I feel like because whenever there's buzz in the Philippines of like an artist coming, <laughs> I, 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 I said, an artista, artista. <laughs> when an artista comes from abroad, yeah, 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 people who don't even know you will line up. Nah, I feel you. you. That's why we... Bella Porch is so big, oh bro. I'm God. telling you, that's why Bella Porch is so big. Yeah, fam. And Bretman Rock. Oh yeah, Bretman Rock. Yeah, that's a good one too. We mm. always forget Bretman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's a goat. I think he lives in Hawaii too, eh? Fam, the, did you see where he lives? Beautiful. When you wake up, just mountain. Damn. Yeah. Literally, no one in sight, just mountain. Yeah. That's your dream. That's right? that's where I want to live, bro. I want to live in Hawaii. Yeah. But that's like later on, like when I when I settle down. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Let me ask you something, bro. Okay. Would you want to rush into retirement? Rush into retirement. Or like, would you want to get there fast? Yes or no? No. It's a good question. It's a good question. Cause cause think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Like retirement at the same time is what? It's almost as if like you can do You're whatever done. you want. Yeah. No, but but it doesn't have to be like the end. Mm-hmm. It can still be like a sense of like chill. Like I'm I'm finally zen. Yeah. I don't have to like rush, rush, rush. Word. You know what I mean? But I feel like I, I'm doing that right now. Like like I don't need to rush nothing. Cause I feel like What? Re- nah, bro. Re- retirement to me, retirement to me is okay, I've done all my shit. I, I can die now. Right? That's oh, is it? I don't like ret- I don't like thinking about retirement because it's like okay, I'm old and shit. Where? Yeah. No, but because you don't have to retire old is what yeah. I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You don't have to retire old. That's the catch. Because I feel like I'm always gonna be like wanting. To <laughs> Maybe do you're something. not working hard enough, fam. <laughs> no, no, because I'm always gonna be doing something. Like even when I'm old, I'll probably like still do like want to do stuff. I guess. <clears throat> But yo, maybe you're just not, you're not taking in like how much work you should be putting in then. Cause fam, for me, yeah. like it's almost as if like, it's fun. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. It's amazing. Yeah. But I do catch myself where like, damn, maybe I need a break still. Maybe, you do need a break. Maybe I need a break. Cause I've been going like mm-hmm. gas, 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 yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. but it's so fun to me. And like, I don't even sleep fam. That's what's crazy. Word? I don't, yeah, I don't know. But what's crazy is. Mm-hmm. I don't want to sleep. See, that's bad. I've had convos with you and it's like, me and you both, if sleep mm-hmm. wasn't a thing, I don't think we would take sleep. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. Like, if it was an option, like, for the day, it's like, would you rather have sleep or money? I would take money. <laughs> no, that ass, like, if, if I didn't have to sleep anymore, I wouldn't yeah. sleep anymore, mm-hmm. which is crazy. I know, Because yeah. me before, mm-hmm. I would have never said that shit in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Never said that shit, especially in high school. Mm-hmm. I love freaking rest. Yeah. But now, I got the taste of, like, this is what work can do. Mm. I mean, yeah. this is what where a grind can take you. Yeah. So I'm like, I want to keep at that. Doing that. Because I know what the outcome could be. It's addicting a lot. It's addicting, right? Yeah. It's addicting. I know. So that's why I kind of question myself. Mm-hmm. Shit, do I want to rush toward retirement then? Would you? Yeah, that's why, I'm, that's why I always question myself. Because... If if retirement is still just like the freedom yeah. of I don't have to I don't have to work mm-hmm. like on deadline 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 yeah. and I just get to still create mm-hmm. I get to do whatever my goals are still in life yeah. I don't have to do it at a certain deadline then yeah that shit's free I mean it's very freeing yeah. very relaxing yeah I would want to do that no but I think retirement is like financial freedom to me that's what it what that's what it no means. it is yeah, that, that, yeah that's what I'm saying financial freedom but. It doesn't have to be the end of like you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to be the end of like Gavin's Gavin's journey. Yeah, feel me? Mm-hmm. It's not the end of Gavin's journey. It's just like the point of where you can you can take a day off. Yeah, exactly. But that's the thing. It's like maybe you can retire at thirty because you've already made so much money, right? Mm. Is that that's retirement to you? Yeah, but okay, see, yeah. see, look at look at PewDiePie. Would you say he's on retirement? Low key, low key. Oh shit. Is he? Because, because, fam, this guy, you know how rich yeah, he is. Yeah, I know he is, and he doesn't. There's, yeah, there's no deadline for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because, because I think for PewDiePie, he's made it to a point where it just feels like life to him now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not like he's working, mm-hmm. and it's not like 
it's a it's hard for him to do either yeah because he's so used to it it just becomes like that's what i love to do i'm just gonna do it yeah because look have you seen his recent videos and streams like mm -hmm. he's just he literally just does whatever games he wants to do it's not like yeah. he's putting too much time into like I a know. new idea i know yeah, you know yeah. what i mean like the grind is different for him the grind is different for him because i think mm -hmm. he's quote unquote retired yeah. but not retired you know, I think that's a good mindset to have then if you really want to retire early. Mm -hmm. So you work, work, work. And then at your 30s, you're done. You don't need no deadlines. Mm. You made this amount of money and you can just chill now. Yeah. Yeah. But, but like, I think that grind also relates to me because uh, what do you call this? Uh, before I was working. Remember, I told you I was working, working, working. Mm -hmm. But now that I... I made some money because before I was making no money. So now Word. some money feels like financial freedom to me. Oh, okay. You know, I get you know, that. You yeah, know yeah. when we get some type of like ads, you feel me? I feel, I feel great. Mm -hmm. Right. And then that I, I start to chill and then I have more, I have fun. Mm. But now it's like, fuck man, I really got to lock back in. Cause, yeah. Cause like I'm not on retirement. If I'm still on clock, mm -hmm. I'm still young. I think that's, that's where you find people they try and like blow their money. Yeah. And then when they blow their money, that makes them more hungry. Yeah, exactly. I think it was Conor McGregor that said it. He said, I, when I win a fight, when he gets a big paycheck, yeah. I go straight to the tailor. I go straight and, and buy all the shit I want. Mm -hmm. So I'm hungry as fuck the next time. Exactly. Exactly. Which is, which is really true. Cause mm -hmm. I, I do think about it like that too. Like if, if you have nothing, yeah. you're going to want more of it. It's yeah. like a star for it, a star yeah. for it, a star for it. Exactly. But if you're comfortable where you are and then you're just holding on like, yeah, yeah I, I got this. Right. Exactly. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Then I think it becomes you. You start to get a little bit lazy. Yeah, you start to get like lost in the sauce. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's why. That's why it's good. Always good to have wake up calls. Cause uh, I remember a friend was talking to me. Yeah, he's like, "Yo, fam, you're the momentum you have right now is like this. Mm -hmm. So why are you chilling? You feel that, me? You yeah, should, you should be on go. Yeah, cause you were you felt like you were taking a backseat a bit. I was taking a backseat. Yeah, bro, you could honestly. I think Timothy Delaghetto. He said it himself. Mm -hmm. No, it was. Fuck, I forgot who it was. He was talking to a YouTuber. Yeah, and he told him like. There's no breaks from YouTube. There's no breaks oh, from yeah. this influencer life. Mm -hmm. Your whole life is this now. Yeah. If you, if you want to be this, that's it. Right? Because yeah. you don't have a plan B. N me, I don't have a plan B. Yeah. That's why I'm fucking doing every I single know. thing possible. Yeah. And that's why it's like sometimes I have to realize that too. I have to remind myself because it's not just me. Mm -hmm. It's you and me. Yeah. So if I slack, then you slack too. Mm -hmm. And then it's my fault. You feel me? I don't no, but you, you gotta just make sure. Exactly. You gotta I'm, make I'm, sure. I'm on the same timing as you. You mm -hmm. feel me? That's yeah. why. That's why I'll make sure everybody on. That's why I press you, fam. Yeah. That's why I you press do. you. You better be on on yeah. clock. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't have any other friends with that. That would do. I have like one more friend that would do that to me. Yeah, but yeah. like you're the main guy. Because yo, honestly, no. Then there's nobody like that for me. Oh, where? That's what's crazy, right? Yeah. There's nobody like that for me, but I do that for myself, mm -hmm. and that's why, fam. Low key, I, it gets it gets a little bit like, damn, who's in my corner? Word. But you just gotta make sure like. You have yourself, you know what yeah, I mean? That's all you need. But bam, what sucks is like you gotta be looking for it. Let's say okay, let's say you go into you 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 get into a team mm -hmm. of where you're the great you're the leader, blah blah blah. Yeah. Like let's say you're the Aiden Ross of SSB, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. How do you how do you how do you build yourself up from people that are under you? How do you build yourself up? Like if everybody else is is under your level, how do you make yourself better? That's Damn. what's hard. Yeah. See that that's a question. That's a question. I'm not I'm never saying like, oh, I'm better than not. Yeah. That's not yeah. What I'm, that's not what I'm saying at all. Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm saying like if you were at that level, mm -hmm. like for example, Aiden Ross, how do you find yourself into a better position? Or how do you make you the bigger, the better? You know what I mean? Shit. How do you upgrade yourself? Because if you're getting everybody else up, yeah, how do you make yourself up? That's what I question myself. Mm. Is that even possible if you're the Aiden Ross? I don't know. Because if you if you just stick around with people like I guess under you, that, you're that, never that, gonna become better. See, that's the thing. I think what I do, what I really do, mm -hmm. is I, I I get that from other content, not oh. necessarily from person to person. Okay, that makes sense. So like, you, know you look up to like, okay, see what Joe Rogan's doing. Yeah, because he's higher than you, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what I mean. That makes sense. But but which is still like, there's definitely a better way to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's definitely a better way. That's how yeah. I'm. Maybe I'm looking into finding a mentor or something. Oh, a mentor would be good too. Cause Loki, I never had that bro. I never had a yeah. mentor fam. Mm -hmm. But would you, I feel like you would be ignorant to your mentor though. Would I be? Cause you, you don't listen. I do listen though. No, I don't listen. You, it's, it's, a, it's a good mix. Like if, if he says something really smart, then you'll probably listen to it. But everything else you, you'll probably ignore it. Nah, you know what it is though? Maybe yeah. it's because if it's somebody that, that I think is, has a lot more value, oh, then you know what I mean? Then you'll respect maybe, it. Maybe that's what, that, maybe that's what I'm gonna be like, yeah. It's it's go like let me yeah. get my pencil out. Okay, you know? okay, yeah. Right? You've never had a mentor that your entire life? Never. Word. Well, me, like 
in Muay Thai, like when I was training, okay, yeah, 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 my coaches and shit. Yeah, but those like are, life, those are my mentors. Yeah, like a life mentor though. A life mentor. Nah, bro. Yeah, because I've I've never had one too. I've only had like you know the, uh, how to, in my accounting program. Yeah. The co-op. I've I've had a mentor who showed me the ropes. Oh yeah, you did the mentorship program. Yeah, That's yeah. good, bro. Yeah, That's good. And I'm I'm being a mentor for someone else today. That's dope. Today. Yeah. And he knows jumpers too. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, fam. Because that, that I think. I think that's what one thing I need to work on is find people that can help me better myself. Because mm -hmm. instead of me trying to better everybody else, I still have to do that for myself yeah, too. That's facts. And that's where I get I get lost in it too. But how are you gonna? Is it through just genuine um, networking, or is it like you gotta Maybe search both. online? Maybe both. To be honest. Okay. Maybe both. Because how do you find the best people? It's it's from genuine meetings. To be yeah, honest. Right. Because like there was a man I met this summer, fam, and we just it felt like that guy was from my past life. Word. Yeah. And he pushes me to, like. We both push each other, so mm -hmm. it's a good relationship we have. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, if if you do want to find the best in the world, like how yeah. do you? Let's say let's say your your dream mentor is some celebrity. Yeah. Let's say your dream mentor is a fucking like Elon Musk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like how do you get to fucking Elon Musk? Shit. That's you like your way up to really like think. how right? Yeah. Like how you you're really gonna have to strive and strive and strive, but shit, is it even possible at the same time? Did Did you see the guy who um went up to Logan Paul? In mm. the Jake Paul fight, and he was like, "Yo, bro, I quit my job. I'm here to network with you." Word. And then he went viral because he he started crying because yeah. he quit his job, all that for Logan to work for Logan. Word. And Logan was like, "Buddy, I'm not I, I'm not the one to give just anyone a job. Yeah, right? you gotta connect your way up to me. Mm. And if you're a good networker, you're gonna find a way up to me." Word. And, and that's, that's what he left off. That's with some him. real shit. That's some real good advice. That's some real shit Facts. though. That's, that's some, some Gary V type. <laughs> yeah, cause no, no way you're gonna just take some random. Yo, it's just like, have you ever seen that video Where's of that? of Elon Musk and then this like, oh the guy, this, this brown guy with the yeah. glasses. Yo, that shit was crazy, bro. Yeah, that I shit know. was crazy. So so Elon Musk, he was doing this um. It's kind of like conference, right? Yeah, he's doing a conference, taking questions, mm -hmm. and this guy came up and he's like. Elon, I've 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 worked so hard to get to this position. Yep. Um, I I came here to tell you I'm a stage three. I'm genius, <laughs> like yourself. I've done it all, you know. Yeah, bro. And then Elon's like, and then he's he's like, I want to take I want to take a, a I want to take a place on the on the on the council. I, yeah, or some shit, bro. I know. I know. <laughs> and then Elon's like, bro, I'm not gonna do that for you. Yeah, you know what I mean, like, yeah. what do you what do you expect? Mm -hmm. What's jokes though is uh. All the comments are like, yo, that's how the super villain starts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fam, he was definitely crying after, dog. Yeah. If that was me and that's your hero. Yeah. And he denied you of a job. That's some real incredible shit. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's going to start like the alien warfare. Bro. <laughs> to, to combat Elon. He's going to make the Terminators, fam. Oh, he's coming I'm, telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, fam. It's crazy. But yeah, that, that shit. But I'm not, I'm not opposed to shooting your shot like that. Cause, yeah, cause, yeah, that's cause true. Because what if it goes right? No, that's facts. That's facts. What if facts. he's like, yo, I'm a, I'm a top tier genius, and then Elon's like, yo, come on my team. Mm, no, I'm that's facts. You, feel me? Like you can't, you can't knock anybody on shooting their shot. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because you never know that yeah. shit might hit. Exactly. Like you're gonna miss if you don't aim at anything. Exactly. You know what I mean? So you always got to be aiming at some shit, mm -hmm. and you're gonna hit that target eventually. Facts. Right. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be that same target. You can change the target anytime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, promo. <laughs> Promo. Promo. <laughs> but yeah, fam. Okay, yo, I back to the back to the tarot card reading because yeah, I have yeah. to tell this story. Okay, go. So I didn't know that you weren't supposed to tell like your about your tarot card reading, but I only tell this this part. Mm -hmm. So that the person that I did the tarot card reading for, they said this summer you're gonna only meet friends from your old past, right? right. And I'm like, I didn't believe like I was literally in my chair, like, okay, whatever, dude. Yeah. Right? And this whole summer, fam, I'm telling you the kids that I knew from when I was four where we played basketball from, I was in we were like linking up. Every single yeah. day. Yeah, and I didn't believe that shit. That's great. What the fuck? So, so she predicted it. Yeah, she predicted it. And I'm like, bro, is this fate or is this like some other type of energy, bro? See, when shit lines up like that, I always like, how? Have you heard of the, the girl on TikTok, right? Yeah. So she she was pregnant and she had a miscarriage, right? right? So she went to a, a, like a psychic and the psychic told her, she was like, uh, the universe is going to give you a pet mm. so you can get get through these tough times yeah. and when she went to the adoption center bro the pet that she she f now has was born on the same day she had the miscarriage whoa what the hell fam that's cr what the hell and i'm like is that fam fate to me is such a sick topic no because because like, fate does exist like yeah no matter no matter what anybody tells me i do believe in fate yeah because fam listen 
Do you think the the LA VidCon getting getting canceled was fate for us not Maybe. to go? Who knows? Because you had a dream about it, though. That's that. Yeah, no, dead ass. I had a dream that like yeah. that she got canceled and we didn't go to LA. And what happened? Yeah, canceled. And you know, the whole time we were talking about these LA talks, you're like, "Yo, we're gonna book our ticket." Yeah, yeah. I wasn't taking it serious. I knew something shit was gonna happen. Really? Yeah. Damn, yo, see, in the back of my head, I was like that too. Maybe we manifested it yeah, into reality. Into, into reality. <laughs> but, <laughs> but who knows, bro? Who knows? Yeah. That's the thing, right? Because. Cause the the brain is so powerful, mm-hmm. and I I truly believe yeah. you you can look at every episode of Jumpers Jump. Yeah. I truly believe that whatever you put out into the universe or whatever you want to make of it mm-hmm. will become true, and this shit will happen. Fam, it's crazy, and that shit plays out just like that. Yeah. So that's why you got to be careful, fam. That's why you got to be careful. You have to always think about the positive, and you have to always strive for the very very best. Mm-hmm. Even as crazy as it sounds, yeah. you might manifest it. You might manifest it, right? Exactly. And even if you fall short, you're falling short high. Yeah. You know? I know. You don't fall short low. You don't aim low and then fall short low. You aim for the fucking moon and then might as well drop nearby Saturn. You know yeah, what I mean? It really, is that. it really is that. It's like might as well shoot for the stars, fam. Yeah. Because then you might fall just a bit lower. You feel that, like? That's what's so crazy is because like who really teaches us that? Like in, in, in school or even in freaking like television growing yeah. up who really taught us that i don't even know i can't even put my finger on it yeah it's all a system bro it's like what those days is like what do you want to become and then when you do a, a nurse there's so many stories of teachers like no you're not gonna do yeah. that you're gonna you're gonna get lower than that i'm mm-hmm. like bro what like I, I, teachers are so important to a student because i've had some really good teachers mm-hmm. that i still talk to to this day and still motivate me to do like what i want to do yeah but then there's those shit teachers that like oh this is what you're gonna have to do you're not gonna amount to shit you feel me? Mm-hmm. But you got to take that as like motivation. Because if you take it the wrong way, yeah. then yeah, that's going to be the then end of you, fam. Yeah. That's going to be the end of you. Yeah. And, if, and if that becomes the end of you, shit, maybe you didn't deserve it. And you're still a kid, you know so you're believing all this. Yeah, so you got to you gotta like make sure that shit doesn't affect you. Yeah, I know. Which is hard though. Which I is know. hard. I understand that, sh- that shit is very hard because yeah. you really got to build yourself for that. Yeah. But if you don't, then shit, you're just going to be missing out on it. Exactly. I mean? So that's why I think parents nowadays got to be like okay yo you, you're gonna do great things in life yeah like, whatever you want to do you can do even as crazy as it is because like yo i don't know why it's still such a taboo thing to be like i want to be an influ- i want to be a freaking actor i want to yeah. be like you see how much money people are making from this shit mm-hmm. why is it still like no that's only for certain people why don't you let them try yeah you want to go to nba go try first mm-hmm. you know what i mean like if, if you didn't try then you won't you won't you'll never know you'll never know yeah and then you're still young so you can still go back to wherever you want to do Mm -hmm. the plan b okay what was the first like job you ever wanted like your first dream job yeah the nba it was the nba yeah yeah Yeah, i love ball i played ball until i was what like 14 15 and then i stopped because i stopped growing and there was so much the likelihood of you getting in the nba is yeah like zero percent chance mm. and i kept hearing that kept hearing that and i quit word yeah and pressure got to me yeah but it is it i feel like a lot of it too is genetics though I'm not yeah. gonna cap I it know, is a yeah. lot of it is genetics but you can still look at mugsy boast fam nah, look at mugsy I, I, <laughs> fam i don't think so like you have to be really really good no nah, that's facts you especially know? right now and then, and then it went to um software engineer and my sister has uh the, the computer teacher that 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 friend yeah oh, I'm man. Blur that out. <laughs> but shout, yeah. shout out shout out the teacher yeah but he he didn't want me to like he made me not like computers and shit you, you know what it was though <laughs> what, what? it's not like it's not that the, the content was boring yeah it's just we were all in that class <laughs> so, we <fucked. laughs> so we just fucked around in the class bro honestly the content was kind of interesting i'm not gonna cap like if, if i was in that class alone yeah. with just like the smart kids yeah i think i would zone i would have liked that class yeah. i'm not gonna cap yeah yeah but there, i would have like, done good it was like all the class Last clowns in one. Yeah, no, it was it was not possible, bro. Yeah, exactly. It's not possible. We're gonna just have fun and shit. Exactly. Because they in group work, bro. Bro, oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> you god. can't disperse us into group work like that and expect us to like actually I do it if work. everybody else is in that class. <laughs> if all our friends are in that class. Yeah, I don't think we actually did work in that class. No, but, I didn't, fam. I yeah. didn't. I just clutched the fucking the last assignment. Yeah. But yo. This is some advice for y'all. Yeah. If you slack off in class, yeah. just make sure you clutch the last assignment. Oh, yeah. Or at least clutch the ISU, whatever, mm-hmm. exam, something. The 30%, 40% mark. Yeah. Like, if you slacked <laughs> off that whole freaking semester, yeah. shit, it's going to be hard. Yeah. It's going to be hard. But at least try to <laughs> smash that final thing. Bro, you can't. Like, legit, we did no work. But Carlos came in with, like, a speaker. <laughs> Yo, this guy created a speaker. I don't know how the hell you did that. <laughs> 
<laughs> dog, I was getting like dead ass. I was getting like 60s in that yeah. class. Yeah. I came out, I built a Bluetooth speaker, fam. <laughs> I don't know how. And that shit was sick. It was yeah, so man. sick. And I got a 90 something on it. And I think I actually locked into the class and I made like this bougie ass mouse. And yeah, I yeah. failed it. Like I failed the Oh, thing. you did? Yeah. But but you had a really good I, mark. I had anyway. a really good mark already. See, there's two ways you can go about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> you pick which one. <laughs> but Gavin's way is better, trust me. Gavin's way is better. Yeah, so you sometimes, don't have to be pressured. Sometimes y'all y'all are in Kobe still. You can't clutch it, bro. Him. Yeah. But I mean, th that's just like uh, life advice too. If you can convert stress into pressure mm. i think that's the best stress into oh you mean like oh, no. like motivation yeah yeah like pressure into motivation yeah exactly because mm. i heard i heard um i think agent said this is like a mindset that you that's really good for you is that if you can really just say that you're not in control of your life mm. but for the things that you are in control of you really dig down on those yeah, it's, it's like that prayer this is a prayer i always yeah. say to myself is um please grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change yeah. and the wisdom to know the difference Word? right okay. so take that in right yeah. the serenity to accept the things i cannot change yeah that's it but the wisdom to know the difference yeah and my my grade six teacher told us to pray this every single day after class Word. before we left and yo it, it's one it's one of those like you say it and you don't take it in until you're in that position yeah and yo if you just go back and remember remember that thing you're drilling in your head drilling in your head right it it actually holds true yeah because look there's some things in life that you cannot change yeah and you have to know which ones are worth changing mm -hmm. right yeah if, if it's something you cannot change then bro just accept it mm -hmm. And find something that you can't. Yeah. That's right. right. Expectations. That was the word. Expectations. No expectations. Mm. But like the shit that you can control, you can control. But, but, okay, here's the thing. Cause I feel like at the same time, like expectations is a good thing. It is for a good, motivation. Yeah. It so is it a good is, thing. Yeah. You're right. But it's, it's a, it's a tough, like, um, because what if you don't live up to those expectations and then that person bums out on themselves and then like, oh, they, they don't want to do anything. Oh, anymore. you know what? Maybe, maybe what it is, what's better is to have those expectations, mm -hmm. but never let it make you feel sad if you don't okay. if you don't get them you know what i mean yeah because you can have expectations mm -hmm. but just don't you know what i mean don't like don't let that be your bother life. you yeah. don't let that bother you yeah. if you don't get there yet mm -hmm. or even if you don't get it at all don't let that bother you just next thing yeah right facts. checklist bop facts, facts. you know what i mean swap it out yeah there was this one job interview and this will always resonate with me mm -hmm. like there was one job interview that i got and i had the job right yeah and then for some reason they looked up my name and then like they mixed it up with someone else and that person did like credit card fraud oh right? shit so they, so they didn't tell me why i lost the job until later but Where? they fired me Already, I didn't even start working. Yeah. Right. And I cried, fam. I cried because I was like, I finally have a job. I've never had a corporate job before. Yeah. Right. And my dad was like, fam, stop crying. Like, you can't cry. Stop crying over spilled milk. Mm. And I was like, no, that's facts. Cause like now I ended up on a job that I really love. Mm -hmm. And now, out of all scenarios, I'm glad it turned out this way. Yeah. Type shit. Yeah. You feel me? No, I, that's for everything, bro. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it. To, okay. Yeah. If you had the choice in your life, right, mm -hmm. to go five years into the past or five years into the future, or stay in your exact present, what would you do? Oh, shit. Wait, if I go into the future, can I come back or no? No. I think I would stay here. That's what I said too. Yeah, I think I would stay here. Because it, it is like, shit, maybe I go five years in the past and then I, I invest in Bitcoin, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And then my life's different. But then I don't know if I'll be as happy. Yeah. Because what if, what if what I left behind, mm -hmm. see, look, let's say, let's say you go back into the past yeah. on some back to the future shit mm -hmm. and then you invest in Bitcoin but you lose relationships with people mm -hmm. that you wouldn't have seen before. Like yeah. you don't know anymore yeah. and your life's on a whole different path and like, shit, maybe you're rich and famous. You're, mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe you're happier too, mm -hmm. but the regret of leaving the other shit behind that yeah. you knew you were happy. Yep. That shit's going to hurt, bro. And we talk about this a lot, but the, the red string theory. Mm. So there's this Japanese legend of the red thread of fate. So that means oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a red thread connected around her pinky and then it foils away and intertwines with another person. Mm. So that's how we meet. That's the Japanese uh, theory, right? Yeah, exactly. So what if you go five five um, years in the future and then you don't meet those people? You break anymore? that string. Exactly. You break that string. Because, okay, do you think, like that's that, that red string theory, yeah. right? Do you think that's active every day in your life? Yes, 100%. Or, or does it ever like change no i think it's active all t all the time like right now it's winding mm. down yeah and some person is coming closer to me that's how i think Word. yeah i because i at the same time i never because going to like the soulmate debate i had with sasha fam <laughs> yeah. do you believe in a soulmate yeah i think i, I do okay yeah. yeah yeah and and it connects to that like red thread thing yeah fam you know you know um there's a story about miss Yi and mr Yi. 
right? Who's that? So there's this is co- fam, this is crazy. Okay, so yeah. there's this couple in China, right? Yeah. And I think they're they're married now with like two twin daughters. Mm. So Mr. Yi mm-hmm. was looking through his wife's old photos. Yeah. Right? And then she saw a picture of them both in front of the May 4th square at mm. the exact same time. So like oh. Miss Yi was posed up yeah. and in the back you see Mr. Yi like this and he took his own photo. No way. Yeah, and now they're like their paths intertwine when they were teenagers. Yo. Yeah. See, that's so sick. Cause I always wonder, have I have I walked <laughs> have I walked by my soulmate? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Have I walked by somebody that I'm gonna know later yeah. on in life? I feel like you and Josh are definitely soulmate. Yeah, nah, I think that's you. Cause, like, cause, or like we're meant to yeah. we're meant to be yeah. friends. Cause like there's this thing where um psychiatrists say that like you know you uh, a person is from your past life life mm. is because whenever you're together time doesn't it doesn't feel like anything yeah yeah yeah. so like i know you and josh like you guys can not talk for a year yeah but when you pick back up that it's ass. like the same that happened before fam that happened oh, like I, we weren't talking for a while and then all of a sudden like yo what's up yeah and exactly. it's the same shit it's exactly the same shit. exactly <laughs> that means like he was from your past life yeah yo because because it's so crazy fam i don't know like what if some people i always think about my past life fam. Yeah, yeah. Like, like if you go back into your past life and then like you've been through all these places maybe that's when you had the deja vu and then you're like mm. i've been here because of my past oh, life fam. yeah right yeah you're right it's so it's so crazy because I like sometimes I go to like let's say I went to Hawaii and I saw the waves right yeah damn sometimes in my soul I really feel like I, I felt this before like I've been here before right. somewhere somehow damn that's crazy I didn't know but that. maybe that's just me like really loving movies yeah. <laughs> like, you, get, you get me <laughs> yeah yeah but who knows bro because you know that special feeling you have where it feels almost like it's something transcendent you know yeah. that feeling? You know that feeling? Mm-hmm. Like sometimes you get it when you're praying. Sometimes you get it when you win something, yep. right? You have a feeling of almost transcendence where it's it's not it's not this plane, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And it's like, you feel just, I don't know, just genuinely like in your body just feels good. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, like butterflies. Yo, yo. So I have a story for you, fam. Okay, fam, fam. So get this. So every night before I go to bed, okay. what do I do? You pray. I pray, right? Yeah. So I did this prayer, right? Mm-hmm. And something in my head, this is so weird, bro. Something in my head, I'm like, wait a minute. God doesn't speak English. Oh, yeah, I said that to myself. This, yeah. I said that to myself. Mm-hmm. And take this in, right? God doesn't speak English. He can understand us, mm-hmm. but he doesn't speak English. So I always think back because all of these prayers before, they were translated from Latin, yeah. whatever, right? So many different languages, it was translated. Mm-hmm. So what if the prayer isn't the words itself, but the frequency the feeling that we give out. Yeah. Right. Based on your theory, if he doesn't speak English, how is he going to communicate with us? Exactly. Is it, is it him putting the things in our life? That's how he communicates with us. Mm-hmm. So what if, what if that's it? Cause yeah. I do believe in the frequency, something we can't see, mm-hmm. right. Going to the, tr- the string theory, yeah. some connection that brings us together. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I don't listen. Language has only been a thing for how many years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Language is something that we create, Human, the human race created. Mm-hmm. Language isn't something God created. Fact. In a sense, we God created that. it because he created humans, but yeah. we created that, right? <laughs> so fam, if you think about it, God's not talking to us in English. He's mm-hmm. talking to us in a different way. Yeah. And, and that, that shit like blew my mind for a second. Yeah. So take this in. I started praying, right? Yeah. But I wasn't praying in English. What? I wasn't praying in English, fam. I don't know what it was. I Wait, started out like, loud? Yeah, I started like, praying and saying things but i didn't know what what the words were but what the fuck? i felt it <laughs> what the fuck? dead ass like no joke shit? no joke nah that's scary it's not scary though it's not scary it's not scary but it's like like wow that's like it's listen listen it's like it was a weird feeling of i'm so connected Damn. yeah and take this in because i think i talked about this before on the podcast yeah some christians when they do pray and they get in a really deep state of prayer yeah they start in speaking tongues they start speaking tongues so you spat, you, like, spoke i don't tongues. know if that's tongues though that's the thing i don't know because i don't know what that is but bro maybe who knows <laughs> that's why it's so crazy right no, that blew my mind because when, when that happens you're like yo because were I, you awake when you did this i was awake i was awake what the fuck that ass what the heck i can't even wrap my mind around that fam i think if i started doing that i would like you would scare yourself and and get scared yo okay here's i have another story for you right i feel like sometimes in my dreams Mm -hmm. they're like lessons i'm gonna need later in life right Mm, okay so i had this dream before i had this dream before and i was like walking into a basement and i saw like mother mary yeah but i got scared because oh, i didn't know who it was i got scared but it was mother mary it was the figure of her right yeah and i got scared and i ran away yeah 
And then I woke up and it was like, it was a bad feeling, right? Oh, shit. But I had another dream, a similar dream. Mm-hmm. And I saw her again. But this time, something told me like, do not be, do not be afraid. Oh, she was because, more welcoming? No, it's not that she was more welcoming. It was the same. Mm. It was me. Mm. So it was almost as if like, trying to trying to warn me, you should not be afraid of these things mm-hmm. because you're going to need to know. Right, you're gonna you get because you can't be afraid, right? Yeah, can't be afraid. If something happens like that, what's our instant reaction? Whoa, what the heck yeah, is this? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But if you really want to get into it, if you really want to explore that 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 whole frequency, yeah, bro, right. you got to be brave, right? That's crazy. It's like this is a true. St- I'm not making this shit up. Yeah, I'm not making this shit up. This is true. Holy smoke! And you know I wouldn't lie, fam. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't. Because <laughs> you know those those people that say that they've seen Bloody Mary. But yeah, I remember I was in like grade eight and this girl, this girl told me yeah. that she's seen Bloody Mary and she was describing it for me. She was like, okay, it was like the one you see in the Bible, but her eyes were just bloody red. And I, was, and I was like, there's no way, bro. So, and I always stayed away from that. Yeah. And when I was in the mirror, I would never like, if you say Bloody Mary three times, right? That's the mm. thing. And I would, I would never want to be in a mirror in dark, right? Yeah. So I would always run away from that shit. So I'm like, fuck, bro. Bro. <laughs> yeah, it's scary, fam. No, because those things, like when you hear things at a, as a kid. Yeah. You're going to believe it. Yeah, I do believe it, bro. Because yeah. it's, it's like, Loki, it's traumatic. Yeah, it is. Because when I watched Chucky, we talked about this. When I watched Chucky, I had Chucky in my nightmares, bro. Yeah, yeah. I had Chucky in my nightmares. And like, I didn't want to mess with no dolls. Exactly. And because of freaking hereditary i didn't want to mess with like cults and you know what yeah, i mean yes like that shit it does influence us yeah. and i feel like when you when you put yourself out and then trying to kind of take that that kind of view on things bro yeah, I know. it kind of messes with your head yeah. but it's fun bro it's fun fun <laughs> it's fun fam low key it is fun i guess i guess because it's it's that sense of like you're you 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 it's the unknown you know yeah but i'm an adventurous though. I like, you are adventurous i like thing. the unknown because <laughs> any anything that's new to me i'm still like Okay, let me let me ease my way into this. Mm. But like, if that shit started happening unexpected, I feel like I would start freaking out. Yeah, because I'm not good with stuff like that. Just happens like that. Where? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to build up to like, let me prep. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. Yo, that was me when freaking when I went to the when I went to the basketball game. Which one? And then all the all the all the oh, supporters came. Yeah, bro, that was me because I didn't know what to do. Yeah, I I feel like I have rare occasions where I get in a position where I don't and you just freeze. I freeze up. Yeah, I think that was the first time I fro- I froze up in a sense. Word. But it's not that I froze up. It's like whoa, this is like. This life's a video game, bro. Yeah, right? <laughs> what is, what's going on? Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like what's going on? You ever get those realizations? It's like, damn, life is so good, fam. Yeah. Is this real? You ever get that? I had that one on my on my latest cottage because I was just, uh, what do you call this? Like fucking life is blessed. Like it's a nice summer day. And I was literally, I laid down in like the field and like just, just heard the waves and shit. Yeah, and I was yeah. Like, Yo, life is actually blessed, fam. <laughs> but your eyes. <laughs> No, I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> well, you're turned. You're turned, bro. Turn, That's I was, why. Okay, I was turned, but like at the same time, I was like, "Yo, what the fuck is this?" this guy off the shits, bro. That's why. <laughs> Everybody else knows what you're talking about, fam. Everybody knows that feeling. <laughs> okay, but like sober. So I think I've had many of those moments too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like after getting a job, oh, yo, life is blessed. Yeah. You know what I mean? mm-hmm. Or like when you're just surrounded by family and you're at like. Like going to Chick Fil A with my friends, I'm like, like, yo, life is blessed, fam. <laughs> Chick Fil A with your friends? <laughs> yeah, no, real shit. I went with to Chick Fil A after shopping, mm. and I felt so good. Like life was just blessed. Word. Yeah, I don't know why it was like stress free. Like summer's over, but it's not to me. Feel me, but like it felt good. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I think I yo, I, I always get that sense of um, okay, you know how they say mm-hmm. time actually passes faster when you're relaxed, and it passes slower. When you're stressed out. You know Slower when, oh yeah. A hundred fam. Listen, when you're doing an essay mm-hmm. and it's due that day and you haven't started. You finish it so quick. No, but like time, it's like, it's giving you more time and shit. It's like, it never, time goes so slow. Oh, true. To me. Yeah. That's yeah. to me. No, no, it's the opposite. Oh yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Cause when you're stressed out. Exactly. You're always thinking of it and you're always looking at yeah, the time. Yeah. It's slower. It's slower. It's slower. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Cause I think. I think I heard this from, from just kidding news actually. Mm-hmm. They, they, they were talking about how anytime. Anytime you work out, yeah. when you work out, 
how does the workout go? It goes slow. Yeah, Time is does. slow because you're you're doing jump, you're doing Damn. the freaking. You know what I mean? The reps, yeah, dog. And then you look at the time. It feels almost a second is like three seconds. Yeah. Fam, on the treadmill, I had to check my, like I had my phone and my timer. Yeah. And I checked it because I was like, there's no way these are going at the same time. Mm. Like, I feel like I'm here for 30 minutes on the treadmill. Yeah. Right. It feels long as yeah, fuck because you're, you're kind of like, oh man, I got to finish this. I got to yeah, finish yeah, this. Yeah, right. Yeah. But those times where you're relaxed mm -hmm. in a relaxed state, you're watching a movie, you're yep. just kicking it on your bed. You check your phone. Whoa, what the hell? Damn, time what? passed. I, I have a secret hack whenever I'm working out and I want to like pass the time. Yeah. I just start daydreaming. Why? Because like daydreaming, whenever I have a daydream during the day, yeah. I can pass so much time. Yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah. me thinking about scenarios, right? So on the treadmill, I'm daydreaming, fam. And then like time, oh shit, 10 minutes already? Mm. Bless, I'm out of there. And it doesn't feel like anything because mm -hmm. I'm just having a good time daydreaming. Yeah. Yo, life hack for people. If you want to get more creative mm -hmm. and if you want to get some ideas, Take some time to literally sit on your couch or something and not do anything. Yeah. Like don't have a phone on you. Yeah. Don't have any distractions. Literally just you by yourself. Mm -hmm. Trust me. You're going to start thinking of things. Yeah. Like out of nowhere. Things that you're going to You're going to dig deep into your subconscious and pull some shit out. Like, damn, why did I think of that? I know. Yeah. You know what I mean, but that's how it works. And you know where I learned this? How? I learned this from lifeguarding, bro. <laughs> Oh, fam. yeah, you guys are just sitting up there like doing, looking at the time, bro. Yeah, we're watching people. We're making sure everybody's good. And then like, while I'm looking at everybody, I'm like thinking, okay, I'm going to, I'm obviously thinking, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm thinking about people, but at the same time, I'm putting like, hmm, I wonder how their life is going, you know? <laughs> you just imagine, yo, what, what do you think he's doing after this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the exact, that's the exact feeling that I got. Yeah. And it kind of taught me to just be okay with just nothing happening. Be Sorry. okay with just like the Seren present. Serenity? Just the present, yeah. Mm. Cuz there's a lot of there's a lot of kind of zen you can get from it. Yeah. And I mean, uh, there's a, there's a good feeling you can get from it and you can pull positive things from from your mind. Yeah. Like if you want to come up with a new idea, mm -hmm. if you want to come up with a new design, yeah. if you want to come up with a new philosophy, whatever it may Facts. be. Freaking who's the guy Sir Isaac Newton? The, he was the apple chilling. fell on his head, he fam. He was chilling. He was chill. He was yeah. cooling it, bro. Yeah. And an apple fell on his head. He's like, damn, gravity. Yeah. You know? A lot, yeah. And I've, I've had that creative block. And then as soon as I got away from the city, mm. and I, I literally like went to three cottages straight. So I yeah. was surrounded by nature. Yeah, yeah. So at, at some points in that trip, I like I had to chill out. Mm. And you feel me? And I wrote down some shit. And I'm like, I'm about to drop some new shit. So word. Okay. Yeah. So would you say? Because remember, I told you before. I know about I know. the city. No, no. So was I right or? No. I still prefer the city. Really, you still prefer the city? I got, I got, fam. I got tired of the the, the country country life after like my second trip, fam. Really? Yeah. It's cool for like a day or two, but my yeah. whole life there, I don't think I could do it. Damn. It's too peaceful. I'm the opposite. Yeah. I'm the opposite. I get tired of the city. Why though, fam? It's like it's, there's always something happening. No, but it's so much of the same shit that's happening. I guess. Maybe maybe it's because I spent so much time in the city. Yeah. That the outdoors is something new. Where? Maybe for me, or yeah, maybe that might have been it. Maybe that's what it is, or maybe it's something to do with like shit. Maybe in my past life, I was I was some next like explorer. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I like the outdoors. I don't know. You know what I looked up? I was like, remember you said uh, someone died on your birthday, so yeah, you yeah, reincarnated. Yeah. So I looked up my shit. Yeah, it was like a German tennis player. <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm nice at tennis. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, you are nice at yeah, tennis. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like gifted at tennis, low key. <laughs> Yo, you should play more, fam. <laughs> yeah, low key, I should do it. I know. Shout out my grandpa for that too. Hey, yeah. but yo, I still like the city, fam. Mm -hmm. But I think if I'm ever in the city, it's got to be somewhere where there's like greenery or like it's got to be like the the waterfront or some shit. Okay, yeah. For I me, for that. me. When we were both in like the cottage, yeah, I seen Carlos at his truest form. <laughs> like that, has, like that is at the campfire. Bro was like randomly in the afternoon. He would sit on the ground and. Just look. Yeah, look at the look? stars, bro. Yeah. And, it, and it was cool. Like, I, what I pictured in my mind of Carlos doing around nature, it was perfect. <laughs> like, it was so much. I have, yo, I have a video yeah, yeah. of the one I took in the campfire when you're like, you're having a, literally a podcast with all my friends. No, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Should I drop it? Because I had, I'll put subtitles in Oh, there. really? Yeah. Yo, because we're talking about some real shit, yeah, bro. <laughs> hold on, look, I have to show you. Hold on. Just listen. Just listen. Yeah, we're talking about some real shit, bro. I remember Marshall asked me a question. About religion. Look. Yeah. And then listen. I snapped. That God works with other people. Fam, we were having religious no, talk. No, because Marshall told me something, right? We can say it here. Yeah. So listen, listen. Marshall said like, 
he said he doesn't may might not believe in God because because um some people don't get the benefit of the doubt. No, some people some people are born with let's say disability yeah. or they're born in very harsh situations. Mm-hmm. And then my my way of combating that was, yo, listen, what if he put those people for us to learn from? Yeah, that's what I said to him, mm-hmm. which is so true, bro. I, I know, but it's dark. It's 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 dark and twisted. It's it, it, it's dark. It's dark, but. It's it's tr- like look at it. Yeah. That's life, right? Yeah, that's life. And if you look at it on that way, then maybe they're meant to bring a good out of it. Yeah, I know. That's life. That that statement. That's life is the most controversial shit ever. I know. Because yeah. we can just blame anything on that's life. I right? know. That's a thing. That's a thing. It's hard. It's hard. But that's that's kind of like that's why there's so many different philosophers. Exactly, yeah. That's why there's so many different like I guess theories on life. Yeah. You know what I mean, if everyone was the same, like you said, like then what do we learn from? We're just gonna be stagnant. Yeah. It doesn't exactly, make any sense. Exactly. Damn, bro. I I always want to like some way. I wish I could time travel, fam. Time travel. You know what? My new my new fucking aesthetic. Because remember I said uh, space, uh, cowboy? space cowboy. Dog. I just want to dress like a time traveler, fam. What? <laughs> like eventually, <laughs> eventually I want to dress in like like freaking like the forties type of clothing. And, and then, in two thousands. In the, like oh, I want to look. I don't have like Apple Watch on me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's gonna be the biggest head bust, Loki. <laughs> yeah. Like dress like a time traveler. So yeah. I'm walking around in public. Like uh-huh. yo, why is that guy like that? Yeah, that's true. That's a head bust, bro. That's yeah. a head bust. But it also looks like um cosplay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it does. You're gonna be out of play. That's why. Yeah. Oh my god. Like cosplay in real life, though. Yeah. Like you know how it's like usually the anime and like the cartoon stuff. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Cosplay real life. Yo, I seen I seen this prank, man. I seen this yeah. prank. This guy he walked by some people mm-hmm. and he was like, "Yo, what what year is this?" Right? And he's yeah. like. It's, it's 2020, whatever. I mean, 2021. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay. You oh, walked away. The twin? Yeah, yeah. Yes, and, and he brought his twin. And his twin came through. And it's like, yo, I'm in the wrong year, blah, blah, blah. Because yeah. he was walking, right? He was walking past them. Yeah. And they kept walking. They kept walking. His twin came around. Yeah. And he's like, yo, what year is it? Blah, blah, blah. And then the guys, and were, the guys like, were like, yo. <laughs> No lie, if I saw that too, I would be like, yo, yo no, I would have no. tripped out, bro. Yeah. I would have tripped out. Actually, no, no. I've seen so many YouTube pranks that I, th- I would look for a camera first. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I, I think this generation is so like, whenever something is like disbelief mm. in front of our eyes, we always like- We're so aware. Yeah. We like, like look, is there a camera right there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, fam. Okay. I heard this theory, right? Yeah. That- Time travel's real. Okay. And all of the things that happened yeah. could have been worse, but the time travelers fixed it just like the TVA fam. Oh. You know in, in Loki? Yeah. So Loki. Oh shit. Loki. <laughs> Loki. So Other Loki. Loki. <laughs> okay, anyways. So so let's say something something crazy was gonna happen, like a world war, uh-huh. whatever. Uh-huh. Right? Time travelers, like there's there's people that have access to time travel or- and changed it in such a way so that it would stop that, but continue life as is. So maybe the bad things in life are meant to happen because the worst shit might have happened. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time I was, you were thinking about that, I don't know why this came to my mind, yeah. but there's this theory about London Tipton being a former Hogwarts graduate. London Tipton? <laughs> yeah. <What> the- <laughs> why? Why when, I, when you said time travel, that's all I thought about? <clears throat> London Tipton? Okay, go, go, go. But yeah, that, that's the theory. It's like, why we didn't see her like her dad in the the whole uh, sweet life on deck? Yeah, because they were working in the Ministry of Magic, and in the sweet life uh, on deck when uh, Voldemort's name was was mentioned, she was like, "Huh," and she like freaked out. She was shocked, fam. <laughs> so London Tipton's a freaking Hogwarts graduate. She's a wizard dog. Yeah, and now that she's like she's dumb in real life because that's she's finally learning the ropes of real life Word. and not the wizard life. Yeah. Yo, I have a, I have a theory for a sweet life, fam. <laughs> oh, me too. Quick, no. so, is it is it the six 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 one? Nah, nah, nah. This oh, is this okay, is just I a fun it. one. This uh, is just yeah. a fun one. So my theory is okay. that they made London Tipton the dumb girl, <laughs> yeah. and they made what's your name, Maddie? Maddie, the smart girl, to break the stereotype of blondes are dumb and Asians are smart. Oh. So they switched it. So they made the Asian girl dumb. And the blonde girl smart. Oh, that makes sense, man. Right? They changed this, the the stereotype because that was yeah. a stereotype for a long time. Yeah. Even in the movies that were coming out at the time, Legally Blonde, oh. all these movies that came out, yeah, they're making fun of blonde girls, right? Making fun of blonde girls like, oh, they're not as smart, blah, blah, blah. So many blonde jokes, right? Yeah, you're right. So they switched it, bro. 
And then with the Asian girl, dog. Fam, literally the first episode is Maddie uh, wanting to tutor the um, London about math. Yeah. It's math. Yeah. It's math first. That's why it's crazy. Yo, it's nah. crazy. Okay, yo, no, nah, this is a crazy one. That mm. the, the Sweet Life on Deck universe is part of the Illuminati. Whoa. You seen this nah. one? Okay, yo, yo. So on the chalkboard behind Cody in one of the scenes, yeah. it's spelled out Illuminati. Right? Oh, shit. And okay, and Zach was having problems with girls. Mm -hmm. And so Cody was like, okay, yo, for every time a girl asks you a question, always say the number six. Oh, why? Right? And then he's like, okay, yo, uh, what do you think about that girl over there? A six. And yeah. he's like, how was your day today? For, uh, from a one to ten. Six. Where? The last one. It was like, yo, uh, what, uh, some other question. And he was like, six. Yo, what the hell? Did that's six, 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 six. And then it <laughs> ended. It ended just like that, fam. Nah, it ended the scene? It ended the scene like that. That was the, that was the closing scene. Nah, something's off, bro. Fam, it, it's... And he was explaining the importance of the number six, Cody. What the to fuck? Zach. See, yo, there's some shit with Disney, fam. fam. Disney there's crazy. some shit with Disney and Illuminati, nah, man. Disney is crazy, bro. There's I don't so know. many different hints about that shit. Like, yeah. And especially, yo, in, in one scene in Aladdin. Oh, I think I've scene. seen this too. You saw this? Yeah. Bro. So freaking um, in Aladdin, right? There was a scene where Jasmine just shows up mm -hmm. and Aladdin whispers the words, take off your clothes. <laughs> We're like, why? He whispered, take off your clothes. Why Ooh. would he whisper that, right? Damn. So the theory goes that the Illuminati, quote unquote, mm -hmm. put that in to pervert the young. Oh, fuck. So that's why... Everybody, like, and it kind of it kind of makes sense, yo, because yeah. they very they really sexualize everything we see yep. in cartoons, television, music videos. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Yeah, that's all present, and we grew up watching that shit. Yeah, and we came out the way we are, so we feed into that. Yeah, you know, remember I was telling you about WAP. I was like. I was like, yo, why do you think they made the music video like that or a song like WAP? Mm. And they're like, fam, that's what the industry wants. Like, that's yeah. what sells. That's what sells, bro. It's, it's crazy, oh, man. 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 It actually is. They perverted us, bro. Damn. Pepe Le Pew, fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to end it there? Yeah, let's end it there. Fam. All right, thank you everyone for watching this yes. episode of Jumpers Jump. Um, more announcements? You got something? Nope, just make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything. We're about to be back. Check out my vlogs. If you guys haven't already, link in the description. Yep. Jumpers jump out. Deuces. All right. Where do you go?